Hi, I'm Brenna. I'm here in our test kitchen at our workshop in Detroit, and I'm here today to talk to you about linen. And I'm really excited because linen is one of my absolutely favorite fabrics. It's one of my favorite to sew with, to wear, to touch, to look at. I, I love linen. And the first thing we're going to talk about is what linen is and where it comes from. So linen is actually comes from the flax plant. And flax fibers are a multi-cell fiber, uh, as opposed to cotton, which is a single cell fiber. Those cells are all held together with this quite magical polysaccharide starch called pectin, which is found in all plants, but is especially abundant in the flax plant. That cellular structure makes linen a very, very strong fabric, a very strong fiber. So traditionally linen was used in things like rope, mats, sails, anything that needed to be really durable and used for a really long time. Linen is also extremely breathable, which makes it the perfect fabric for warm weather or say for a summer weight pair of jeans. Humans have been using linen for over 10,000 years, which I think is really cool. It's just an exceptional fabric. It's durable. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. Uh, it's just one of my favorites. Our linen jeans are made with raw linen. So when you first get them, they're going to be a little bit stiff, kind of structured, uh, that, that kind of rough linen feel to them, a little bit scritchy almost. You know, my grandma got a pair in the last run we made, and I think she was surprised by how stiff they were. Oh. I think she was expecting something a little bit softer, like the linen shirts she has at home that have been laundered and have been treated to be softer. On the other hand, our sales manager, Chelsea, loves that initial structured feel and she tries to keep it that way as long as possible. So whether you're looking for a really soft linen jean or a more structured linen jean, I have some tips and tricks for you to get it whatever way you want. You hear the robin? I'm so happy it's spring. First, softening your jeans. So that pectin we talked about earlier, if you want your jeans to soften up, that pectin has got to go. And the best way to do that is by soaking your jeans in some water. That water will break down the pectin and then penetrate the linen fibers and soften them up. If you want to just kind of take the initial edge off of your jeans, maybe soak them for an hour or so in cool water. If you want to really, really soften them up, put them in for five or six hours, maybe even longer. The longer you soak them, the softer they're gonna get. And if you want to speed the process along even further, you can use some baking soda. Put about a cup of baking soda into two or three gallons of water, and that will help break down the pectin even faster. Now, another trick to softening your jeans is to agitate them during the drying process. Now, I know you guys know better than to put your jeans in the dryer. Say it with me now, we don't put our jeans in the dryer. Good, okay. So whether you hang your jeans to dry or lay them flat, you're just gonna wanna come and kind of shimmy them, wrestle them around a little bit. I don't know, maybe every hour or so as they're drying, and that will additionally help soften your jeans. Now, if you're more like Chelsea and you want your jeans to stay more stiff and structured, you need to keep them away from water for as long as possible. Now, when it is time for their first wash, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is give them a fabric softener soak before you wash them. Now I know that may sound a little bit counterintuitive, but what fabric softener does is it actually wraps each of the fibers of the fabric in a silicone emulsion that's kind of hydrophobic and keeps the water from fully penetrating the fibers of the fabric, which means they won't break down as quickly. Don't agitate your jeans at all while they're drying if you wanna keep them stiff. Lay them flat or hang them up and allow them to dry for a full 24 hours before you touch them and that will help give them that crispiness. So to sum up, if you wanna soften your linen jeans, water. And if you wanna keep your linen jeans crispy and structured for longer, no water. How you wear your jeans, how you like them to feel is entirely up to you, your personal preferences, and your total personal style. 
my recommendation is to just kind of let them break in naturally through the lifetime of the jean. Keep them crispy at first. They'll be that way until their first wash and then they'll soften successively the more you wear them and the more you wash them. These ones here are probably about two and a half years old and they've been through quite a few washes and they are just liquid soft. So I say just enjoy your jeans through all of the beautiful seasons of, their, of the fabric's life and, and just let them live their best life. I hope you learned something new today about linen and caring for your linen jeans. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll answer what we can. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.